One of the methods used to convert data from a sample in a whole circuit to binary output is the flash ADC. The flash ADC consists of a priority encoder, a voltage divider network, and also a network of op amps. Let's look at an example of how this flash ADC works. For this example, assume that we are going to have an 8 volt voltage reference and that we want to convert 2.5 volts since we have 8 volts as the voltage reference and we have 8 equally sized resistors in this resistor divider network. Each one of these resistors will have a 1 volt voltage drop across them. This 1 volt voltage drop across each resistor will create biases on the inverting inputs of each op amp as follows. We'll have 1 volt bias over there, 2 volts over there, 3 volts over there, 4 volts over there, 5 volts, 6 volts, and lastly 7 volts. These reference voltages will now be used to compare the input value against. When comparing 2.5 volts with 1 volt, we will see that 2.5 volts is bigger than 1 volt. And this will give us a 1 output or a high output on the output of this op amp. 2.5 volts is also still bigger than 2 volts, which will create a 1 output over there. 2.5 volts, however, is not bigger than 3 volts, and from this op amp onwards, we will have 0 outputs on all of the, out on all of the op amps. A priority encoder looks at all its inputs and then creates a binary number based on the input with the highest priority. 0 has the lowest priority and 7 has the highest priority. In this case, we have a high input on 2 and we have a high input on 1. Since 2 is a bigger number than 1, the output that we will find is the binary equivalent of 2. The flash converted binary equivalent of our input voltage, which is 2.5 volts, is, a, is therefore 0, 0. Let's look at another example. What about 6,2 volts? Compare 6,2 volts against each one of these voltage references to determine whether the op amp output is either a 0 or a 1. 6 volt, 6.2 volts, 6 volts is bigger than 1 volt means that output will be a 1. 6.2 volts is also bigger than 2 volts. It's also bigger than 3 volts. It's also bigger than 4 volts and 5 volts. And it is bigger than 6 volts. Therefore, the output will now reflect the highest number that is in the priority encoder, which is 6. 0, 1, 1. 6.2 volts has a binary equivalent of 110. Okay, but what about a value less than 1 volts? Let's have a look at 0, 0,8 volts. Once again, the 0, 0,8 volt needs to be compared to each one of the reference voltages on the inverting inputs of the op amp. 0, 0,8 volts is less than 1 volt. 0, 0,8 volts is less than 1 volt. All of these outputs will be 0. And the output of the priority encoder will reflect that 0, 0, 0. So 0, 0,8 volts will not have any output on the priority encoder. What about changing the reference voltage? Let's change the reference voltage to 4 volts. Once again, we have 8 equally sized resistors. Therefore, we will have a resolution of 4 volts divided by the 8 resistors which gives us 0 0.5 volts voltage drop across each one of the resistors. Therefore, this point here will have 0 0.5 volt as its reference voltage. That point there will have 1 volts. That point there is 1,5 volt. Over here we have 2 volts. Over there we have 2,5 volts, 3 volts, and 3.5 volts. If we now look at an input voltage of 2.2 volts, it's easy to see that 2.2 volts is bigger than 0 0.5. It is bigger than 1 volt. 
It's bigger than 1.5 volts, but it is not bigger than 2.5 volts. And all of these will now leave us with zeros. Since the biggest number on the priority encoder is 3, the output will reflect that. And therefore, 2.2 volts is connected into a binary number using the flash ADC 011.